Girl Scouts, it's Miss Kate. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the two things of air dry clay I sent home with you. We are going to be making a bowl. So the first thing you need at home is your two things of clay, a bowl, and just in case, a Ziploc bag. Why do you need the Ziploc bag? If you are going to be starting this project but having to stop or pause at any time, this clay dries very fast. So it is very important to keep it in an airtight container so it does not dry out if you're still working with it. So we're gonna get things started by opening up our clay. And I want you to make sure that you have a clean space. So I'm doing it at my kitchen table. Um, if you do need an adult to help you open this, that is no problem. Go ahead and have them. What I want you to first do when you open your clay is go ahead and work it into your hands. We, we want to make sure we get all those air bubbles out. We make sure it's really ready for us to work with. Ooh, this is a fun purple. I'm excited to use it. And then I got also this really bright lime green I'm gonna be working with. So we'll open this up as well. Very important, we keep these separated. So this is going to stay here. And as I get this one out of the package, I'm gonna keep it away from that purple because once we put these together, there is no bringing them apart, okay? Just so you know. Um, once they get stuck, they're not going to unstick. So if you want to mix them together, you definitely can, but know that there's no going back once you do that, okay? Um, I definitely am going to show you how to do some of the marble look with it, but to start, I just want to make sure we get all our bubbles out and it's looking good to me. They're looking ready to go. So we're actually just using our bowl as kind of a form. So when we put our clay in here, it's supposed to hold that bowl shape as it dries. That's what we're going for. So we can do a couple of things to start. I really like doing a coil technique on the bottom of my bowls. So to do a coil technique, I'm gonna show you. Let's do purple for our coil. I'm just gonna take a nice section of it, break it off of the original, okay? And we're gonna roll it around. We're gonna really work with it. Get it ready, you know. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use both your hands and roll it into a long line. Kind of a worm shape, if you will. Yes, and you can try to make it very uniform, meaning like keep it the same size but I've noticed that with this clay it's a little hard to do that so just try your best while you're rolling it out to try to keep it even but you can kind of see with mine there's a little it's a little lumpy some places it's a little skinnier some other places so I'm just gonna try my best to kind of make it even pull it out you see how long it's getting it's already getting very long so just work with it you know be kind to it i think this is looking really good so far we are going to make sure this is all coiled and ready to go so what i'm going to do is we're going to make kind of a swirl is how i would put it so when you start in the middle you're going to start by kind of circling it in towards itself like that. And you're gonna keep rolling it and building it. And you'll notice it really sticks to itself very easily. So that's something that's really nice about it. You can keep it there and it's gonna keep working with you as you go. So I'm getting our coil going. Oh, it's looking good. I'm I'm pretty excited about it. I think that looks awesome so far. I'm gonna keep going 
you can see it got a little thin in some spots for me, but that's okay because I'm actually gonna flatten this out even a little bit more before we put it in the bowl. So, gonna have a little bit of fun with it, you know? Change it up. So there is our beautiful swirl coil pot start. And I'm gonna flatten this out just a little bit, really make sure we've got some nice, round, even thickness on the whole thing. And then we're gonna put it in our bowl. So this will be the bottom of our bowl. So I'm just gonna place it in there and kind of press it down. As you can see, that's a really nice start to our bowl. And we can go a lot of different places from here. I'm just gonna press this in really good, make sure it's sticking. That way, as it dries, it will keep this shape, which is what we want. So, we do have our green, and as you know, we still have some of our purple. I was thinking about doing like some circles, possibly some like polka dots maybe is what I was thinking about. So I'm gonna take a piece of this green. We're gonna roll it in our hands, really get it warmed up and work with it. And I am going to make some circles. And you can do that in your hands like that. Or as you pinch and pull, you can do it up against the table that's a nice spot to do as well. And you know, they don't have to be all the same size. What I love about art is that you can do anything you want with it. You can change it up. Nothing has to be the same. Same, same, same. You can change it up. It can be crazy. It's your art. It's your bowl. You get to do what you want. You don't like polka dots. You like stripes. Let's start pulling these apart and making them into big, long strips. I want you to have fun with this. I want you to do stuff that makes you happy so you can use this bowl and feel artistic and fun. Okay, now that we have a bunch of little circles, little orbs, I am going to start adding them to the bowl. I'm gonna go around the perimeter of the clay I've already placed in there because um, we are going to be building it up. So I'm sticking them down. They are looking really cute. You can see, oh my gosh, I had just the right amount. And look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm loving how it's turning out. And I have one little extra pee. So from here, we can continue doing circles or we could change it up and start going back to the coil for a second. So I think I'm gonna put this little piece back in here and let's start making a really nice big coil to put around our circle of little orbs. So I'm gonna break this off. So I want you to be very careful because like I said, once we stick, it cannot be unstuck. And if we make a mistake, it's okay because this is our art. We can do what we want with it. Mistakes are always fixable, especially in art because there are no rules in art, which is what I love about it. You can do what you want and have a lot of fun. I'm gonna go in and kind of overlap where I was a little bit. I'm gonna try to turn it for you so you can see. I'm gonna actually pull this piece out and blend that last little bit into where we were. Oh gosh, it looks so cute. Look at that. Beautiful. I love it. So. Let's start trying some marbling because that is going to look really interesting and different. So I want you to take a little bit of your one color, so mine is purple, and we're going to take a little bit of green, 
Remember, we're gonna warm them up. Make sure they're nice and stretchy. And I'm gonna make two balls. And we're gonna put them together. So, when you marble, you do not want to mix them too much. So I would take it, put them together. What I want us to do is flatten it so that one side is purple, one side is green, and we're gonna fold it. We're gonna fold it one more time, and we're gonna pull it apart, and then we're gonna flatten it. Oh my gosh! Oh, it is cool. Okay, look at that. Look, and each side is kind of different. I'm gonna fold it in half just to make it a little bit stronger. And I am going to add it to the top of my bowl. So I'm gonna do it like that. And I think I'm gonna do a few more like this. So they're kind of like little petals of like mixed uh, marbled clay. So I'm gonna make a few more of those and then I'll check back in with you. So I've finished adding my petals to the outside and I'm really loving this. Like it's so fun and oh, I really love the marbling on it. So I do have some clay left. Um, I would pretty much call it good here. I would leave it to dry overnight at this point, but you know, I'm a little extra. I wanna add a little bit of cutesy stuff to it. So I think I'm gonna take this green and I'm gonna make a really little heart to put in the middle of the bottom. So I'm gonna kind of flatten it out and shape it with my fingers into a heart shape. And I mean, you can do any shapes you want. Do what you think is pretty or artistic. It's completely up to you. So I maybe want to make the heart a little bit bigger on the circle top, on like the top part. Yes, getting close. So that's pretty close to what I want. And I just pushed it flat and then I shaped it. Um, and I am just gonna put it in the bottom of my bowl. flatten it out one more time. Really make sure I like it because as I have said, once we stick it, it cannot be unstuck. So, yep, I am liking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, right in the middle. I'm gonna press it down. Oh, it looks cute. Okay. Ta-da! My beautiful bowl. And so I will wait overnight for this to dry. And I will check back in with you then. You do have this bonus clay. You can do whatever you want with it. You could grab a smaller dish and make a whole nother bowl if you would like to. You can make a figurine completely up to you um I just want you to have fun and do what you do best which is enjoy yourself and just make the best out of it this is all about making and creating and finding what you think is aesthetically pleasing which means it's what you find beautiful what you find pretty and pleasing to look at that's what art is all about. That's why people hang it up on their walls. They want to look at it. That's what I love about it. So it is up to you guys. I had so much fun making this today and I cannot wait to see your beautiful creations. I, I have a feeling we're going to have a ton of awesome uh, troop art to display at some point this year. So have a wonderful day and I miss you very much. I'll see you at our next meeting. Bye.